and you know, I, I take pride in all my students. Uh, even the price, because I know a lot of people don't have a, you know, a few grand to throw around. I charge people fifteen hundred dollars, because I know that you know, I, again, I can't train guys for free. But other schools out there charge between three thousand and even five thousand dollars. And a lot, a lot of these guys that you know that love wrestling and they want to do it. But they don't have the money to, to do it. They don't have five thousand dollars or four thousand dollars to put down. That maybe their dream is going to pass them by because of money. So I even have my price a little lower, probably probably the lowest in the nation to be honest. Because I don't know any other schools out there that train guys for fifteen hundred dollars. Well, I'm, I've heard of other schools that do it, but these are probably guys out there that shouldn't be training guys anyways. You know, because you you can find schools a dime a dozen all over the place. But then again, and anybody that's listening right now that's interested to go to a school, if they if the trainer hasn't done it, there's no way he can get you there. You have to ask them. Have you ever worked for the WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, Japan? Where? How can you get me there? And if they don't have an answer, then I'm sorry to burst you know their bubble, but there's no way that they can do it for you. Uh, a trainer has to have connections for companies. Any one of my guys that I feel are ready to have a match for the WWE, I can contact somebody there and say, hey, look at my guys. And because of my reputation of the talent I produce, never once have I been turned down. And I have to keep that reputation going. That That's the reason I will never send a guy that isn't ready to get looked at, either in Ring of Honor or TNA or WWE. And uh, the question you had asked, uh, pretty much how, how do the courses go? Like I said, you will learn everything there is to know about pro wrestling. Once you are done with those 12 weeks, there won't be one question that you will not have answered. How do I go about getting bookings? Uh, you know, how does this work in the ring here? How, how do we call a match? Uh, you know, how do we do promos? You will learn everything there is to know. And, and it is, I'm not going to lie, it is rough. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I know every fan out there has a little dream about being a pro wrestler. If it was easy and everybody can do it, then we would have no fans. Everybody would just be pro wrestlers. But it is not for everybody, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be for everybody, but it is almost a form of boot camp style. It is hard. I've had guys come up to me, say this is what they wanted to do their entire lives, and this is all they dreamt about, and they've, and they've handed me $1,500 cash on the first day, because you can also pay it all up front. Sure, that's, that's fine. But they've handed it to me, and two hours later, they quit, and they've never came back in two hours. And this is somebody that, you know, talked all the talk, said, yes, this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want. This is what I want. And then, but again, it isn't for everybody because everybody just sees the, the glitz and the glamour and the fame part of it, you know, the, the way it's portrayed on TV. And, yes, it is fun. Nobody would be doing it for this long if it wasn't fun. It is fun, but it's definitely hard work, and it does take toll on your body for sure. Is, is, did that guy get a refund? No, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, I present them. You know, of course, once once you sign for the school, you also have a you know, a contract you have to sign with me, and it clearly it clearly states no refund. So he knew what he was getting himself into. So. Again, I felt bad for it. I felt bad for him, but you know what to do. It's happened plenty of times. That does not. That has not only happened once. It has happened plenty of times, actually. Man, <laughs> it, it that seems uh, you know rough. Obviously, you know, with tough enough out there and all these things, you know, we, you know, it's been out there in the open that you know this isn't going to be a walk in the park. So people should know ahead of time. You know, if you're going to pay your 1500 bucks, which sounds like a great deal, you better bring it. Yeah, so we've of course. Got, uh, one of, yeah, one of our co-hosts is from Detroit, uh, but he's, you know, absent today. You know, I wish we could send him to your training school and, and let you beat up on him for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wish people would have, like, they have to know at least that it's not going to be easy. For instance, there was the, a girl I had that signed up, and she did the same thing, gave me $1,500 up front. This is what she wanted to do for the rest of her life. And the first day of class, usually, I sit everybody down, and I hold about a one-and-a-half-hour lecture about what the pro wrestling business is, about how you're not going to be a mark anymore. You are now in the business. And, and you know, it, it, it's definitely a long speech just to let them know, you know, like proper etiquette. I just give them a little insight on what proper etiquette is 
you can be taken seriously in the wrestling business. And then we, and then when the wrestling, uh, when we get started with the class, the first thing I have everybody do is stretch. You know, you have to get a good stretch in there. And then to do 25 a piece of jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups, and Hindu squats. Just 25 a piece of those. That's just to get the blood flowing so we can get into the ring and start a workout. She couldn't get past the warm-up, and she walked out and quit after she gave me $1,500. And I was just like, are you kidding me? She goes, I can't do any more push-ups. I go, I didn't say 250. I said 25. And at your own pace. And at your own pace. You know what I mean? And she just could not do it. We sat there for two hours for her trying to get through 25 push-ups, and she could not do it. Two hours later, can I, can I get through 25 push-ups? And I'm just like, if you can't even do 25 push-ups, I don't think this is the business for you, you know, definitely. Because cause when you're in the ring, remember, and, it, and uh, again, I'm a little more old school about kayfabe, but from, to my knowledge, man, kayfabe is pretty much broken. And even the other hosts, you, I mean, the other people you have on your show, Pretty much everybody breaks kayfabe. Is, is, is that how it works? Pretty much. Well, we've had we've had a couple callers, you know, stay in character, and the other others, will, you know, they'll break it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, but you know, but since I am a wrestling trainer, you know, I'm I'm just gonna let people know up front of the way it is. Like like when two wrestlers are in the ring, nobody is working against anybody. You work with each other, and the trust that has to go in there. For instance, uh, what's your name right now that I'm talking to? I'm sorry. I'm Shane. The other guy is Darius. Okay, Shane, right? Right. Okay. Now, if me and you were in the ring and you picked me up for a body slam, now listen to the question. You picked me up for a body slam. If you wanted to, could you drop me on my head and break my neck? If you wanted to. Yeah. Probably, probably yes. So imagine the trust I have to have for you that I am giving you my body and giving you my life in your hands. And that's how it works. That's how the wrestling business works. Lying is not tolerated in the wrestling business. I mean, if another, if another wrestler lies to another one, all that trust is gone. If you can't trust them with something small, how are you going to trust them with your life and with your body? Because that's what pro wrestling is. We give each other our bodies, and I'm saying, here, take care of me, and I'll do the same. I'll take care of you. Because it is so easy for something to happen in that ring, and and that just brings me to a point where like with all these backyard companies that are popping up everywhere, which really makes my stomach turn. Because I don't know. I mean, wrestling again. I started in '98, and it just started going through that change. I mean, fans can now go online and buy a ring, and go on HighSpots.com and buy like some boots and some gear. But that's not what makes a professional wrestler. All that is is playing dress up. That's like grabbing your father's suit and putting it on and playing grown-up, you know what I mean? And that's what it is. You are not in the wrestling business just because you rented a ring and rented a venue and you bought some boots. That, 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 that doesn't make you a professional wrestler. Just like any other thing, if you want to become a police officer, what do you do? You have to go to school. You have to go to an academy. If you want to become a doctor, you've got to go to college. You don't just self-proclaim yourself a doctor one day. That, like, again, and... It kind of burns me because I talk to a lot of people online that are interested in wrestling, and some guys say, hey, I'm a pro wrestler. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, who broke you in? And they'll say, uh, what does that mean? I mean, like, I'm going to say, I'm like, you're a pro wrestler and you don't even understand the lingo that we do? Because every profession has their own lingo, doctors, right. lawyers, and so do wrestlers. Uh, and if you don't know how to speak the part, you're not going to be taken seriously. He goes, well, you know, I go, well, I go, that means who trained you? He goes, oh, well, I trained myself. And then I go, oh, how does that come into play? He goes, well, I watch it on TV all the time. I know what I'm doing. And then I say, well, I'm a police officer. He goes, oh, really? I go, well, you know, I watch cops all the time, and I bought a gun. So, and I know a few words, like, you know, I know a few slang terms that the cops use. I bought a gun, I bought a car, and I bought a badge at the store, so I'm a cop. He's like, no, you're not. I go, exactly. No, I'm not. And you are not a wrestler either. And a lot of guys just don't get it. And it's sad because I know there's kids out there that want to get into the wrestling business, but they go about it the wrong way. And I feel really bad for them because they're going to go to a school that's not a reputable school, somewhere that can teach them the proper way and teach them how to get somewhere. And they're pretty much going to get taken for their money and just get stuck working 
you know, just like little shows once a month here and there.